Happy Sentinels Tuesday, everybody. I've got some big announcements. The main one is, at the end of this week, I will be moving. So next week, there will be no stream, and there will be no video of Sentinels Custom Decks. I'm going to take the game that was scheduled for next week and just move it to February, which is fitting, since that's what happened to the letters page as well. And so there won't be an environment deck shown off this month, which is okay, because the environment list is the shortest one I've got, so... An extra hero will do us good. And speaking of heroes, today's hero is Amira Kira. This is a, an OC created by Zerami for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. He comes in a cool box. There's always boxes like that. He also comes with a whole bunch of extra stuff here. A user called Saint BNS created a pack of stands. If you know anything about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, you know that they have weird manifestation powers called stands. And I don't know what any of this is and unfortunately like a lot of these a lot of these are not very well balanced i don't like using this and so we're going to ignore that this exists and come across the card that references it we just won't play that card but yeah amira is like a smart person who's gonna be looking at the top of decks a whole bunch he is going to be fighting dark willow because we haven't seen her in a long time fighting alongside amira are parse fugue state my new variant for eldritch the nether war which is kind of a cool expansion for mutants and masters Masterminds, and Titan will be fighting in Subterra. Let's refresh ourselves on how Dark Willow works. Her max HP is 95 because H equals 4. Start of the game, Shinders play the side up, and we put Warren into play, Fugitive Murderer side up. Start of turn, if Warren's not in play, she flips. End of the villain turn, she hits him for 4 infernal damage. Reduce damage dealt to Dark Willow by hero targets by 1. And Warren, at the end of the villain turn, deals Dark Willow and the hero with the lowest HP, 2 projectile damage each. Redirect the first instance of damage dealt by Dark Willow each turn to Warren, and when he would be destroyed, we flip flip his card instead. And that's all we need to know, so here we go. Drain life. Dark Wheel deals 5 irreducible infernal damage to the hero target with the highest HP, and regains HP equal to damage dealt this way. So we redirect that to Warren. End of turn, she hits him for 4. He hits her for 2, and he also hits Eldritch. Well, he's not going to be long for this world. Let's start with targeting arrow. Pew! Get rid of that for a bit. We'll use her power, get a gauge, and draw a card. Let's go ahead and play Ever Watchful Eye of Elos. Eldritch's power is Mystic Explosion. Add a token to one of your spells. Let's go ahead and do that. You may remove all tokens from that spell. I will not do that. However, if I do, and at least two tokens were removed, one player draws a card. If at least three tokens were removed, he deals a target two energy damage. If at least four tokens were removed, one player uses a power. And if six or more were removed, he deals each non-hero target and himself two fire damage and then destroys that spell. Draw a card. It just gives you something extra to do with the spells and also keeps them circulating because they're so damn cheesy. Hey, I start with the Chaplain. Let's just go ahead and play that and hit Willow for three and draw a card. Let us think before we act. Reveal the top card of a hero deck. Your player may put a one-shot revealed this way into their hand, then you may put a non-one-shot card revealed this way into play. Search your deck for an ongoing or equipment card, put that into play, and shuffle your deck. So, who do we want to have random stuff? So basically we could get Eldritch set up because it's almost assured. I mean, I don't think he has any one-shots. We could maybe help parse out. I'm not sure how Titan would work. I'm going to go ahead and set Eldritch up. That is Obscuring Orb or Boros. That'll be a good one to stack tokens on and eventually destroy. So let's go searching for an ongoing card. I want possible weak points. The first time the top card of a deck is revealed from each deck, each turn, choose a target. Increase the next damage dealt to that target by X, where X is the number of cards revealed this way. This is a very good card, and I started off with it in the test game, and the test game went really well. Amira's power is prepare for the worst. Reveal the top card of a hero deck, put a card revealed this way in its player's hand, discard the rest. I think Amira could probably use an extra card in hand, so we get another one of his cards. We will increase the next damage dealt to Willow by one. Draw a card. Subterra plays War Party. Enemy the environment turns card deals each non-Morlock target two million damage. If no Lemurians are dealt damage this way, destroy a non-target environment card. So everybody take two. Willow takes three because of Amira, but Warren also takes two, so he's yeah, he's gonna die. No Lemurians were dealt damage this way, but there are also no non-target environment cards. Okay, start of turn, she does not flip. Instead, she plays another Drain Life. Did I shuffle this? I did, okay. So she kills Warren. Oh, oops, he flips, right. Two Effigy of Prosperexa. When this card is flipped to the side, move this card by a hero target. Start of the villain turn, any player may move this card by one of their hero targets. Let's put that on Titan for now, he should be good. End of turn, she does nothing. By Warren. All right, and yeah, she gets her damage reduction back. So let's go ahead and impossible shot her. Draw a card. Power. Of course, for once in my life, I think I want to use Gage. We will look at the top card of Willow's deck. Agony for Agony. 
When she's dealt damage, she deals each hero target that amount of that type and destroys this card. So we'll put that on the bottom. And that was revealed, so let's go ahead and increase the next damage dealt to her by one. Parse draws two cards. Okay, I need to get Illusions of Eidolon out because that's a reveal spell. Uh, we'll use his power to throw another token on Ever Watchful Eye of Elos. I'm going to wait to add more tokens to that draw a card. Okay, let's go ahead and go Unbreakable. Cannot use powers to draw cards, but we skip effects which act at the end of the villain turn. I'm going to put that out as cannot use powers. Okay, I will play Memories of Who I Am. Once during your turn when a mirror would deal himself one damage, prevent it and a mirror regains a hit point. And if you turn, a player may discard a card. If they do, one of their targets regains two HP or they may draw a card. Oh, you know what? I forgot to have Eldritch draw his second card. Speaking of. All right, power. We'll be putting a card in its player's hand, so let's reveal Titan. It's another Unbreakable. Cool. We will increase the next damage dealt to Willow by one. I can already see my mistake here. We have Titan as our damage dealer and three support heroes. Like, Amira does almost no damage. Eldritch takes a while to get going. Parse's damage is very low. These are all problems. All right, draw a card. End of turn, someone can discard a card for two HP. I think, I think Eldritch is happy to do that because he needs a little bit of extra HP. Okay. Cool. All right. Subterra plays Lost Agartha. Oh, thank goodness. Destroy all other environment cards. This is the best card in this deck, and one of the best cards in Earth Prime. And in the environment turn with the top card of each deck in turn order, starting with the villain deck. Whee! Drain life. Who knew? Here to go with the highest HP. That is Titan, and she heals five. But everybody else gets to do stuff. Exploit vulnerability. Awesome. Volatile elixir. Awesome. Molten Veins, thank goodness. We will go ahead and grab Titan Form because I think we're going to need it. Reevaluate options. You may shuffle the hero trash into its deck. Reveal the top card of a hero deck. You may discard any cards revealed this way. Replace the rest in any order. A player may draw a card. Let's see, Titan still cannot draw cards. I'm going to shuffle his trash into his deck. Get that Molten Veins back. I will reveal the top card of Parse's deck. It's quick calculation. I'm going to discard it. And Mirror will let himself draw. And then we play the top card of the Environment deck, which is another War Party. Hilarious. So they hit everybody for two. Titan gets... Let me just use a counter for his damage reduction. Willow takes three. Oh, actually, no, she takes four because that's just for hero targets. And they have plus one damage taken. Okay, start of turn, Willow flips. Start of the villain turn, she deals each other target two irreducible infernal damage. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, we're not going to move the effigy just yet because I forget what it does. So everybody take two. She got around unbreakable. What a shit. And then she plays a card. Dust to dust, Dark Below deals each hero two psychic damage, destroy an ongoing or equipment card belonging to each hero. Well, he actually soaks that now. He has an equipment card. Add three tokens to a spell. Sounds great. Let's throw that on Illusions of Eidolon. I'll destroy Gage. I will destroy Unbreakable since it ain't doing shit, and I'll get rid of memories of who I am. Okay, that's her entire turn. All right, we don't need to worry about damage being irreducible, so let's recompile. Draw four cards off that. Use her base power. Updated intel. That's useful, actually. Who would like to play the bottom card of their deck? How about Titan? Vulcan's Judgment. Fantastic. Draw a card. I may just leave that out until she does another Dust to Dust. I don't feel like we need All-Seeing Eyes of Aberdon. I'm going to put out Triluminary Searing, because that is a very good spell. Power, I will add a token to Ever Watchful Eye of Elos, and then I'll remove all the tokens from it. So, one player can draw a card. That'll be Titan. And Eldritch deals a target two energy damage. Hit Willow. Draw two cards. End of turn. I can remove two tokens from this card. If you do reveal the top and bottom cards of one deck, discard a card, put the other on top or bottom of its deck. So we'll remove two cards from that. Yeah, let's do the villain deck. And now it's worth pointing out that the way this card is worded, we're only counting cards revealed from the top. So this is just going to be a plus one to the next damage dealt to Willow. Oh yeah, and I should have destroyed Lost Agartha because of the war party. I will discard Disruining Teleport and put Agony for Agony back on the bottom of the villain deck. Or actually, you know what? I'm going to put it on top of the villain deck because Parse can get rid of it. It'll take her whole turn, but she'll be fine. Neat. I think it's time for a little payback. Titan will hit her for four with the Chaplain. Draw a card. Let's think before we act again. Feel the top card of a hero deck. Let's try Parse this time. It is not a one-shot, so we get a buffer overflow. Fantastic. Uh, we will search for another memory of who I am, because that's very good. Power, let us reveal the top card of Titan's deck. Juggernaut Strike. Cool. That goes in his hand. Increase the next damage dealt to Willow by one. Draw a card. End of turn, someone can heal two. I think Eldritch would like to do that. The war party is losing their damage increase. Underminer gets it instead. All right, everybody take two melee damage. He gets a damage reduction. Willow takes three. Start of the environment turn, destroy a non-target environment card. End of the environment turn, this card deals the non-morlock target with the second lowest HP, two melee damage. That is Parse. 
That's fine because Willow's going to kill them for us. Everybody take two irreducible infernal damage. Titan has two damage reduction and plus one damage dealt to her. Oh yeah, he should have healed one. And then she plays Agony for Agony, so nobody deal damage to her, guys. Oh yeah, I can reveal the bottom card of somebody's deck. Let's look at Parse's deck. This does not set off possible weak points. We will put that on top. It's a targeting arrow. So let's go ahead and play Segmentation Fault. I will use that. Discard a card. Destroy Agony for Agony. Draw a card. Good turn. I'm going to play a Volatile Elixir. Power, let's add a token to Illusions of Eidolon. Draw two cards. End of turn, let's remove both of those tokens from Illusions of Eidolon. Reveal some cards from the villain deck. We revealed a card from the top, so increase the next damage dealt to Dark Willow by one. With most cards in hand, discard the one shot and equipment card, play the top card of the villain deck. Oh, we don't want that. Earth Golem. You know, I'm okay with that. We will put the Earth Golem on top, discard Cold Truth. And that's his turn. I would use Hapless Shield if there were anything to hit her. Let's do Juggernaut Strike. Hit her for four, make that five infernal damage. He can give as good as he takes. Oh yeah, make that six infernal damage. Power, Chaplain, hit her for four. Draw a card. All right. Wow, I got a lot of good options here. I'm going to play the Dynamite. I'm really setting up for another one of those board wipe cards. When this card is destroyed, Amira deals up to three targets, two fire damage each, and we destroy an ongoing or environment card. Power is destroy this card. So we'll just let her take that out for us. Power, let's reveal the top card of Amira's deck. It goes into his hand. We increase the next damage dealt to Willow by one. Draw a card. And who needs healing? Parse could use some healing. All right, Subterra plays an arrow crevice. I've been waiting for it. At the end of the environment turn, each player discards a card. Then each hero character deals a hero target other than themselves two melee damage. Reduce damage dealt by villain targets by one. It's unfortunate that her main damage is irreducible. Okay, so everybody take two. Titan gets a damage reduction off that. Can't do any of Amira's damage preventing abilities. And nobody else cares about getting hit, by which I mean they're all going to die. Everybody take two. Titan gets another damage reduction. And she plays the Earth Golem. This card's max HP is twice H, so eight. Once card is placed, search the villain deck and trash for a copy of Earth Golem and put it into place. So we get all the Earth Golems, because they're all going to do that. Oh, there's only two of them, that's fine. And the villain turn, this card deals the hero target with the highest HP, 2 million damage. Redirect the next damage dealt by that target to this card. Oh, that's kind of cool. So yeah, they are both dealing 1 melee damage to Titan, who laughs in the face of danger. Redirect his next damage to one of them. And they both are taking extra damage. Neat. Between the lines, hey Titan, why don't you use the Chaplain and deal 4 damage to one of those Earth Golems? Power. Let's go ahead and reveal the bottom card for deck. Critical Multiplier. Fantastic. Draw a card. All right, Eldritch. Let's play Wheels of Way On so I can use an extra power. Power one. We will destroy the Volatile Elixir and get three tokens on Triluminary Searing, which needs four. So power two. Let's add another token to it, not remove any. Draw a card. Draw another card. And end of turn, remove four tokens from this card. If you do, Eldritch deals a target six irreducible energy damage. Let's hit her with that. It's actually seven. Nice. He's not overpowered at all. Titan will Obsidian Grasp. Titan deals a target three melee damage. Make that four to Willow because she hit him. Titan form is in play, so I can discard a card and search for Immolate and set her on fire. Power, Chaplain, hit her for four. Draw a card. And it won't actually be helpful right now, but whatever. There's a lot of good options here. Okay, Akira is going to play the Rifle. Whenever you reveal one or more cards from a deck, put a token on this card. And the power is Amira deals a target X projectile damage, or X is number of tokens on this card. Remove all tokens on this card. Sounds like fun. We will go ahead and reveal the top card of Titan's deck. Put it in his hand. It's another Juggernaut Strike. Interesting that. Increase the next damage dealt to Willow by one. Draw a card. And those damage increases wear off. Subterra plays the Sorcerer Priest. He gets plus one damage taken. End of turn. Everybody hit your partner for two. Titan gets a damage reduction. Oh, somebody could have discarded to heal. Yeah, Eldritch wants that. Just barely holding on here. Reduce damage dealt to Lemurians by one. And the environment turns card deals the two non-Lemurian targets at lowest HP, two infernal damage each. Thank God that's both of the Earth Golems. Okay, Willow hits everybody for two. The Lemurian Priest for three. Titan's damage reduction goes up to two. She hits herself for one fire damage, but it's not irreducible, so the narrow crevice keeps her from hurting herself. I guess there's not enough oxygen for the fire. Also, I should have looked at the bottoms of some decks. Bottom of Parsa's deck is another critical multiplier. We will leave that there. Bottom of Amira's deck is the Operator. We will put that on top. That probably should have happened sooner, but whatever. Anyway, Tracer Fireball. Dark Willow deals twice H fire damage to the hero with the lowest HP. Any player may discard two cards. If they do, redirect this damage to that player's hero. Yeah, we're going to discard two of Titan's cards and redirect that eight fire damage. Make that seven fire damage. Make that five fire damage to Titan. And now he has three damage reduction. God dang. And now we can reveal the bottom card of someone's deck. How about Titan? 
Stubborn Goliath, put that on top. Okay, the Earth Golems go after Titan again, redirect his next damage to one of them. I feel like Targeting Arrow is a good idea. Hit Willow for two. Power, I am going to discard a card, increase the next damage dealt by Titan by one, and destroy Narrow Crevice, because that team damage is really not good. Draw a card. I suppose I could have buffer overflowed that, but I feel like there might be something worse. I'll play the Lucarna Scrolls. Power one, Lucarna Scrolls. Draw two cards, play up the two spells. All Seeing Eyes of Aberdon, and another Obscuring Orb of Orboros, I guess. Power two, let's throw a token on Illusions Vitalon. Draw two cards. That's it. Titan is going to Juggernaut Strike, so he's doing five Infernal Damage to this Golem, and one to everything else in that play area. Power of the Chaplain. Hit Dark Willow for four, draw a card. I think it might be time to let the dynamite go boom. I will play Scene at all. At the start of your turn, reveal the top card of a deck. You may replace or discard all the revealed cards. If a card is discarded this way, destroy this card. So yeah, we're going to destroy the dynamites. Mirror deals up to three targets, two fire damage each. I can destroy an ongoing or environment card. So we'll hit Willow for three. We'll kill both of the Earth Golems and we'll take out the Sorcerer Priest. Not bad for guy with glasses. Draw a card. Somebody can discard and heal. Probably going to be Eldritch again. Of course, that puts him up to highest, but uh, he's got the most cards in hand at the moment. Whew, this is getting down there. Subterra plays another Sorcerer Priest. Neat. And I just got rid of the nice, soft, squishy targets. I will have him hit Titan, giving him a damage reduction, and Parse. Woo! Everybody take two. Sorcerer Priest takes three. Titan gets another damage reduction. And she plays Tracer Fireball. Okay, we're going to buffer overflow that. Fuck you, lady. Oh yeah, and it enters play, so I can check the bottom card of the villain deck. Hmm, that would be very bad. Yeah, we're going to leave that there. Discard that card, and instead play Harsh Truth. Play with the most cards in hand, discard the one shot, and an ongoing card. Play the top card of the villain deck. That is actually Amira. Black Lightning. We will look at the bottom of Amira's deck. It's another possible weak points, which is limited, so we'll keep that on the bottom. Well, Dark Willow deals the two, or targets the highest HP, five infernal damage each. That, I don't like the sound of that. That is Eldritch. And Amira, who dies. Well, jeepers. She's no one to take lightly. All right, the plus one damage to her wears off, unfortunately. What is impossible shot. Hit her for three, draw a card. Power, she's really only got the one. Well, that's not completely true. Let's go ahead and discard a card and destroy the Sorcerer Priest so we don't have to deal with his ass. Plus one to Titan's next damage. Draw a card. I guess I will play the Medallion of Madrasos. Start of my turn, I can add a token to up to three spells. Power number one, Locarno Scrolls. Draw two cards. Play up to two targets. Ooh. Oh, damn. Auspicious Augury of Agrazul and Lamal's Labyrinth. Those are both really good. Power two, I will throw another token onto Illusions of Eidolon. Draw a card. Yeah, I'm not going to remove any. Draw another card. Take these off at the end. Let's try and control the villain deck a little bit more. That's another Black Lightning, which will kill two hero targets. Or Entangling Vines, which will kill a hero target. Let's get rid of Black Lightning. Put that back on the bottom of the deck. Okay. All right. Stubborn Goliath. Well, actually, no. Vulcan's Judgment. Let's go ahead and destroy this. He'll deal a target five, six off payback times seven, plus another two, make that three fire damage. Draw a card. All right, a mirror's in cap powers. Reveal the top card of a deck, you may discard or replace it. Choose a target, increase the next damage dealt by that target by three. Damn, one player may draw a card. Let's go ahead and keep looking at the villain deck. That's just flat gonna kill somebody, but I kind of have a feeling like that's the only choice we have is someone's gonna die. And I mean, Eldritch is gonna die. Shit. Ugh, okay. So I'm going to lose two heroes. Hopefully we can keep Titan alive. Sulfur Vent. Well, so much for that idea. End of the environment turn, discard the top card of each deck. Then each character deals himself two toxic damage. Yeah, there goes Eldritch. I think that's a wash, in fact. Woof. Because everybody take two and we lose. Fucking hell, Dark Willow. God damn. Well, Amira gave us some hope at least. Oh yeah, she hit herself for one fire damage. She's only got 22 HP left. Let's take a look at the rest of Amira's deck. Kira Presence. The first time each turn Amira would be dealt damage, redirected to the environment target with the highest HP. At the end of your turn, you may play a card or another player may discard a card to play a card. I should have played that sooner. I had that in hand. What we know. Reveal the top card of a deck. You may put a card revealed this way at the bottom of its deck. Replace the other revealed cards in any order. Player may play a card, use a power, or draw a card. Taiki. This is like the cornerstone of his deck and I didn't get any of them. When only one card would be revealed from the top of a deck, you may instead reveal the top X plus one cards where X is the number of Taiki in play. Replace any cards not used this way. If you do, a mirror deals himself one irreducible psychic damage. This damage cannot be increased, so that's why he has all the prevent one damage cards. The Operator. This is 
his stand, apparently. Once per turn, when a mirror would deal himself damage, you may prevent that damage. Or at the end of your turn, you may use a power, or one player may discard a card and use a power. Power is reveal the top card of a hero deck. Replace all cards revealed this way in any order. One player may draw a card. So slightly different from his base power. Prepared Trap. Whenever a target enters play, you may use the power on this card. Power is choose a non-character target. That target cannot deal damage until the start of the environment turn. Destroy this card. Stand Manifestations. This is the card that I was going to ignore if it came out. Choose a hero. If that hero is a mirror, put one call away from the stand deck into play. Otherwise, reveal the top card of the stand deck and put a card revealed this way next to the hero. The player that controls the hero the stand was used on uses its power. At the start of your next turn, shuffle that card into the stand deck. Maybe I should have used it. Eh. Reckless Attack. Up to two players may each discard a card. Each player that discarded a card this way may play a card or use a power. Mask. Once per turn, when a mirror would be dealt one damage, you may prevent that damage. At the end of your turn, a player may discard a card. If they do, a player draws a card. And that is it. So yeah, Mira will be coming back. He's got a couple of variants, so we will see him again. Damn, that's all I got to say. You can find a mirror on Zarami's Sentinel's Vault, and you can find that variant of Eldritch on Walker's Workbench, and you can find Dark Willow on Adelph Phage's Archives. So that's all for this one. Thank you for watching. Thank you, everyone who came to chat. It has been fun. Tabletop similar to the previous sentence called DLC. Sarami Sentinel's Vault, Adult Fages Archives, and Walker's Workbench, not less great games products. Please support the official release and flip.